Hello, my name is Muskan, and today for the intro project, I will be presenting on faith-centered cubic structures, and this is a topic that we covered in chapter three of the class. So in my project, I'm gonna cover crystal structures, FCC structure and definition, the atomic packing factor, and lastly, I will go over applications and features of FCC structures. Starting off with crystal structures, Crystalline materials are the building blocks of crystal structures. These structures are created by packing together the crystalline materials, and then these crystal structures can be 2D. And then when you stack together these 2D structures, you actually create 3D structures. Now, moving on into FCC structure. FCC structures are basically solid structures that are created by exactly identical atoms and the atoms touch each other on face diagonals. Also, another thing to note about the FCC structure is that the coordination number is 12. Now, a general layout of the FCC structure is that, as you may see here, this is a cube. So around each vertex of the cube and midpoint of the cube right over here, there will be a fraction of a sphere, or in this case, this sphere is an atom. Also, FCC is one of the most common ways in which solids can be arranged. So because of this, there are a lot of applications of the FCC model. Now moving into the atomic packing factor. By definition, the atomic packing factor is the volume of atoms in one unit cell divided by the volume of the unit cell. Another way to think of the atomic packing factor is that you can think of it as how tightly the atoms are packed together. So in this example over here, you'll see that there are some gaps in these atoms. That is because this is not perfectly packed. Now, the basic calculation for APF is you find the sum of all the sphere volumes and then divide it by the volume of a unit cell. Now, to find the atom of a unit cell is 6 times a half plus 8 times 1 eighth. The reason why you have that is because you have 6 half spheres, one for each side, so that's 6 times a half. And then you have eight, one eighth atoms, as you see over here. That's why you get the other half of the equation. The volume is a cubed or length cube. We all know that each length of a cube is the same size. And then the volume per atom is four over three pi r cubed. Now to find the length of the diagonal, which you can get the um, radius from, the length is four i's, or four r, sorry. So you measure from one diagonal to the other. So this is 1r. This entire half sphere gives you 2r, and this last one gives you 1r. So in total, from one diagonal to the other, you have 3r. So this is my face-centered cubic structure. As you can see, six um, half spheres facing the center, and then we have eight one eighth of a sphere right on top of the bottom and the top square square of the cube in order to make this you just need to create a cube with vertices and midpoint of the diagonal and then because fcc models all have the exact same atom comprised of it you can just create one atom in the shape of a sphere as I did over here, and then add this atom to each vertex and midpoint, which would be these um, half circles. And then you can just use cutting features to cut out all of the different spaces that you would like in this structure. So thank you all for listening for, to my presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them.